Hello guys, I'm Emily here and welcome back on my channel. I hope that you liked the last video. Remember to leave a subscription and like under this video if you like it. But I'm sure you will because today we are going to talk about GDC coin. Remember as always that you invest on in your own responsibility and let's learn more about GDC coin because I'm very excited. Okay, so that is actually the global digital cluster coin and that is a new age protocol that caters to web free services and community driven technology, allowing users to build their dApps and serving as a hub for digital assets, international payments and applications. And what is amazing is that anyone with the internet connection can access the system at any time. Global Digital Cluster Coin is a peer-to-peer -peer network that allows users to conduct transactions directly with the person in question, eliminating the need for intermediaries. Because no entity or institution controls Global Digital Cluster Coin, no one can impose restriction on the process of receiving payments or using on-chain services. And from that short introduction, at least for me, we can read that they try to be as accessible, inclusive and safe as they can. However, how does GDCC actually works? Let's read more about burning. Some of you might know it, but I am aware that not everyone is experienced with crypto. Some of you just started so it's also really cool from gdcc to explain everything so crypto burning it is a practice of sending crypto coin tokens to a wallet that does not have an access key resulting in the tokens being lost forever and the point of it is to reduce the number of coins in circulation and in the case of the gdcc a portion of each transaction fee measured in gdcc so their own coin is burnt and they plan to move 50 percent of the total supply of the coin to a smart contract and the contract will burn 50 percent of the gas from each transaction on the network moreover they have a private transaction and they want to launch its own decentralized exchange to provide direct custody of funds to users they hope for seamless and hassle-free crypto trading experience to the community as it is community for the community project. But at the same time, because of the non-custodial nature, users will be fully responsible for all of their funds and transactions and the platform will not interfere at any cost. And talking about the non-custodial nature of the project, users can create a wide range of applications including decentralized applications and wallets and utility applications have unlimited privileges because the network allows them to deploy and execute smart contracts and as i already told they have its own cryptocurrency which is gdcc and the distributed ledger technology makes the platform secure transparent and immutable allowing gdcc to accumulate value and let's learn more about the specific of their work so they plan to launch their own decentralized exchange which operates with the aim of providing the custody of funds directly to users themselves and the components of the work so we have mint and minting is a process where the digital file gets converted into nfts and again i like their direct description of their work because as i said not everyone is experienced yet we also have redeem liquidity tokens can be redeemed for the shares by the liquidity providers and transfer where nfts are transferred to the wallet once the transaction is confirmed and if you're not sure yet about the project here we have some advantages lifted so we have immutable ownership rights one of the first advantages is that the marketplace gives users immutable ownership rights to the nfts they hold so they really try to make a user responsible for their transactions and their assets and as they said they don't want to interfere at any cost interoperability users can connect to different blockchain networks with the help of cross-chain functionality 
high liquidity which is also a very important factor so the platform enables users to trade nfts instantly ensuring a high level of liquidity for holders lucrative returns the platform as a Creator-centric marketplace provides wonderful opportunities for creators by acknowledging their masterpieces. And something about the NFTs, so the marketplace will have an exclusive collection of rare and branded NFTs that will add unique value to the portfolio of the holder. And as they give a lot of freedom to its users, Global Digital Cluster Coin enables users to create tokens as well. And of course, to create one, users must provide a token name, total token supply, the exchange rate to GDCC, market cap, circulation duration, description, website, token quantity, and so on. So all of the features, the official features of the token. And we have the network GDCC20 and their standard is the technical standard for smart contracts that generate tokens that are compatible with the GDCC virtual machine. And their other features might be the auto market maker, token burning and liquidity reward. We can also take a look on the GDCC milestones and their roadmap we can say. Firstly, we have featherweight architecture where it is a virtual machine that uses a simple architecture. We have robustness, we have high capability, we also have cross-chain functionality, lower transaction fee and high speed transactions. And my favorite thing, as you probably know, is the partners and supporters. And here we see a few of them and that is really good. Also on the bottom of the website or in the contact, you have all of the social media of GDCC in case you want to communicate with them or to join their community, which is of course amazing if you got interested by this video. I would also like to say that they have their app. You can click on it on the top of the website and as you can see, you can buy the GDCC coin or you can already connect your wallet. And in order to buy the token, you have to register on the Chainwise exchange. All right, guys, so you definitely have to let me know how you liked the video and how you like the GDCC. And maybe if you want other videos with this project when they expand or introduce something new, as always, the official links will be in my description. And I'm very excited to see you in the next video.